He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. That's right, he was in the Amazon with my mom <laughs> while she was researching spiders right before she died. This is a very hard thing to overcome. This is very difficult, especially when your name is something Webb. Your last name is Webb. You're clearly a spider person. What do we think of the Madam Webb trailer? Wow. <laughs> I think Sony, too. Sony was like, girl power movies coming out? I'm all in, baby. So <laughs> here we have a situation that's a little interesting. What do we make of this? As soon as the Marvels drops, <laughs> they're like, oh, I pray this movie's a hit. I pray it's a hit. And we're going to have another girl power movie. Please let not let it not be a bomb. The Madam Web trailer with Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney, and they get some Spidey powers. Just what we needed. I am so excited. I <laughs> thank you, Variety, for this article here. Move over, Spider Man. There's some spider whammons in town. Some strong whammon spiders. Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney, who you may know from such films as Euphoria and her big old Tegums. That's right. And there's also Cassandra. That's Johnson plays Cassandra Webb. Do you notice? You don't want to notice the theme here. You have Dakota Johnson, who's also best known for showing her big old tigums in Fifty Shades of Grey. And then you have Sydney Sweeney, best known for showing her big old tigums in Euphoria. Yay, ladies, if you, if you unbolt... You free the beast, you free the nipple, you too can be a Hollywood starlet. Just in case you were wondering, very interesting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what in the world this is. There's like four girls are going to turn into spider people. Um, yeah, I don't know. The director, S.J. Clarkson, helmed Jessica Jones. Jones. I hope she did Jessica Jones season one because that was good. Jessica Jones season two was hot garbage. I remember that. And the Defenders was pretty boring. So, uh, yeah, not super excited about that. But here's the difference between this and the Marvels. You got some hot girl action going on here. I mean, Dakota Johnson, you know, she's I. But then you've got Sydney Sweeney. And uh, you got some Celeste O'Connor and Isabella Marced and Tahar Rahim, whatever. And there's like some half shirt looking action where the girl's only wearing half a shirt. You know, these girls look, you know, and uh, Sydney Sweeney's in tiny little schoolgirl outfit. What's going on here? I see what you're trying to do. Who are you trying to appeal to? I think I know. Will Tom Holland show up in this? What's the official synopsis? It's a different universe, separate from the Venom universe, separate from the Morbius universe. Sony, how dare you use multiverses? What are you thinking? The best part out of all of this, like for I have no I, I mean, you want me to break this down, this trailer or give you my opinion? I have I've d I don't know anything about this comic book. I have no idea who the villain who looks kind of like Spider-Man is, Ezekiel, whatever. The fact that she could see the future. I have no idea what's going on here. What you see is what you get, folks. But what I do enjoy is <laughs> Madam Webb's trailer. He was in the Amazon with my mom. That's the true goal. This could be something. This could be Morbius Part 2. I'm pretty sure I'm going to tell all my friends it's Madam... What is it? Madam Web? What the heck is the name of this movie? Madam Web time. I'm Madam Webbing. <laughs> like, there's no... Has, does Sony realize that they've been turned into a meme? When is it Craven time? I'm craving a snack. Because it's Morbid time, part two, part three, baby. 
Uh, <laughs> this is from Mission Impossible. Ethan, he was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. <laughs> I <laughs> Forget it, Jake. He was in the Amazon with my mom right <laughs> when she was researching spiders right before she died. Now I came down to see who was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. I, I, <laughs> oh, good. I, is this clue? It was Colonel Mustard with the candlestick in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. Uh, yes, Ezekiel Sims. That's Tahar Rahim from Napoleon, apparently. I have no idea. Like I said, she's a paramedic who can see the future. What that has to do with spider things, I have no idea. Why they show, um, Dak not Dakota. <laughs> Dak Does she even have an outfit? I thought she was an old lady who was like 100 years old. I know they show Sydney Sweeney in some, like, I'm sure they're going to get her in a skin tight outfit because that's their goal. Oh boy. What is the best part of this trailer? It's got to be the meme. It's got to be the meme because there's, no <laughs> there's nothing else but the meme. Uh, this is bananas. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Sony, what are you doing? Why would you do this to yourself? After you got played, after you got tricked, I don't know if you folks remember, but Morbin, it, it's Morbin time, made three bajillion dollars at the box office. It made so much money that the and the fan reaction was so strong, they convinced you to re-release the movie. Remember, I, remember, I was washing my hair and I missed Morbin Time. I need to see it. I don't know how I missed it. Please re-release this. So you're gonna do this? Why would you this movie? Why would you make this movie? No one asked for a Michael Morbius movie. Nobody asked for Madam Web. Nobody asked for a Craven movie where he's not a villain. He's a a hero saving animals around the world. My lord, Sony, you guys have you guys have <laughs> you got some pretty dumb people running your thing, man. What are you doing? Oh, how do you allow this to become a meme? It doesn't help your movies. Do you not understand? People are laughing at you, not with you. But we love you anyway. <laughs> I'm uh, the funny thing is I was in on Morbius and I never I didn't see it until like a year after it came out. And then when I started watching it, I would watch it as I was falling asleep. I watched it at least 7 times and I I still don't think I watched the whole thing cuz I'm pretty sure I fell asleep to it. This strikes me as the same. It does have one difference, one supreme difference. It's got some hot chick action. And all the chicks in this all have done, well, not all of them, but the main lead girls, they've done nude scenes, and I think that's what they're banking on. So that's all you get from me here. I have no further insight for you other than he was with my mom in the Amazon when she, when she was researching spiders right before she died. It is what it is. There's no way of getting around it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you in? Are you going to watch this? Are you excited for some Madam Web? This is what we're getting. <laughs> I mean, Sony, I, Let There Be Carnage was such a joke too. Like, Anyway, I have no idea, but uh, you can catch our podcast. It is amazing. Come join us. It's huge. It's on Friday nights. We live stream it here on YouTube, the bestest ever, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. You could also get it on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. But as for myself, I am on to the Amazon researching spiders. Till the next one.